here we are midweek at the World Men's Curling Championship in Calgary, Canada, as we take a look at downtown and beautiful day here in Calgary. Some bathing Canada geese here in the Bow River. And a nice, beautiful aerial view of Canada's Sports Hall of Fame, which is here on the property at Canada Olympic Park, where we bring you in to Windsport Arena and into the bubble here in Calgary for session 17 of the BKT, BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. Japan versus Netherlands here for you today. So we take a look at the lineups for our team teams today. Shinya Abe, Yas, Yasumasa Tanita, Tetsuro Shimizu at third, and Yuta Matsumura at skip for Japan. And for Netherlands, lead Carlo Glasbergen, second Lorenz Hookman, Yap Van Dorp at third calls the game, and your last stone thrower, Wouter Huskins. Let's take a look at our current standings here as we sit on Wednesday. Sweden at the top of the board with an extra game, eight and two. Canada, Norway, RCF, and Scotland also only at two losses. United States alone at three losses. Switzerland alone at four. Italy alone at five. Japan alone at six. And there's a group that are already at seven losses. China at two and eight. So as we take a look at Team Japan and Team Netherlands getting ready for the game. Just a head nod and a wave for pregame handshakes. Let's take a look at the rest of the action happening here in session 17, our feature game on She Day. Next door on Sheet B, Scotland at 7-2, taking on the United States at 6-3. Sheet C, Italy versus Norway, who is also at the top. And on Sheet D, Canada and RCF, both at 7-2. And with me now, this is Jill Officer, joined by Olympic silver medalist Mike Harris. Mike, uh, should have a pretty good matchup here today. Netherlands just coming off a, a big steal against Germany this morning to win their game. That's right. And Japan having a wonderful game this morning. That's right, they were a feature matchup this morning and it was uh, Shimitsu at third who curled 100% for Team Japan, cruising to victory against Denmark. So both teams coming in on a, on a positive note. Mathematically still alive, Japan is with six losses and they uh, Need to run the table. Need to win the rest to get to seven and six. Need a little help from the from the people in front of them, but uh, they uh, certainly have uh, that top of mind right now, and they just, uh, want, would love to replicate their performance from this morning. As would as would Netherlands, who also played quite well. And yeah, Netherlands, I think, looking to improve on their record from their World Championship a couple of years ago, where they finished four and eight. So they're getting close. Both these teams, obviously, the ultimate goal would be to qualify for Beijing. And uh, in order to do that here, they need to finish in the top six. So they said a bit of work to do for Japan. They need some help. And uh, Netherlands kind of using this as a, a tune-up now at this stage, trying to more games under their belt, the better. As a couple of very good draw to the button totals will give the Netherlands the hammer here in end number one. So Japan will be the Red Rocks and Netherlands the Yellow as we get underway here with the Japanese team from the Tokoro Curling Club in Kitami. 41-year-old Shinya Abe. <laughs> I'm 
Japan, very comfortable with rocks in play. They've uh, been mixing it up most of the week. And uh, no difference here. The call is for the center guard. Well done. Netherlands going right for it as well, throwing the corner. Take a look at 30-year-old Carlo Glasbergen in the lead position. Fourth appearance for this team at the sure. World Men's Championship. Three of the four players have been together for quite a number of years, actually, and it's been an interesting progress up the ranks. They started well down even in the C group in the Europeans at one point, moved up to the B group and then got into the A group finally. And then in Europe, you need to get into that top eight at the European Championships in order to qualify for the world. So they've now become kind of a regular here at this level. So seem to be getting better all the time. And wanting to stay here, I'm sure. Interesting thing in Europe, it doesn't matter how well you play in this championship, if you are not one of the top eight at the following year's world, or excuse me, European championships, you don't get to come back. So <laughs> could, could win the world championship and then have a very poor Europeans and uh, don't get to defend your title. Nor does your nation. Correct. <laughs> not just the team. A few rocks in play here early, Mike. Are you surprised that both teams are going for it a little bit? I don't know. I guess, you know, when you're near the bottom in the sand, you're kind of freewheeling it, I think. But, uh, you know, I think both teams are, are, are quite experienced and, and do like to, to uh, mix it up a bit. Nice play here from the Netherlands. Ignoring shot stone. Trying to figure out a way to... Score two here with the hammer. So we take a look at Japan's second, Yasumasa Tanida. Yes, yes, yes. Out turn, half waiter. Yes, the call. Yes, definitely a lot more movement this morning, Jill. The uh, Yes, yes, Stones yes, yes, were yes, yes. touched up, <laughs> that term. Uh, the ice makers uh, would use basically a type of sandpaper to scratch the running surface of the stones, and ice was getting quite straight through day five, and I think all the players are a little happy. There's more movement in the ice today. We'll keep an eye on that as we go on. Netherlands second, Lawrence Hoekman. Okay, okay, not too slender. Ice open. Yes. Okay, okay. Mooi ballen. Close. It's okay, yeah. Jam the run back, but popped it into the open. We'll see if uh, Japan comes to the guard here, maybe. Oh, nice. Check out. Japan could peel at this point as well. Or hit and roll over. Yeah, without the hammer, they are. Happy to continue to apply pressure if they can. I think they stuck with the original call of the guard. Yeah, I think maybe they were just talking about the ice. I'm guessing, of course. First hand always in, uh, interesting with some new paths. Have maybe not been worn out in the practice session. So. And that middle path is one of those paths. The teams typically play from the outside in a lot in their pre pre game practice. So coming across the middle can sometimes be a little bit slower with the fresher pebble. Over curls a little. There's a port there. Not a big one, but uh, Rock will fit through there, I think. Elf, 
Hard, hard, hard. make this curl already. You look to touch wide. Good, good sweeping to uh, get that to curl enough. Well, I said definitely more movement today. Yesterday that wouldn't, that would have hit half that yellow guard. So, uh, we saw quite a number of misses in the earlier draw today. Rocks over curling just because of uh, maybe the surprise factor. With Even though they knew that the players all knew the rocks were done, but the uh, sometimes it's an uh, adjustment. How much of an adjustment they needed to make. So, so we take a look at 33-year-old Tetsuro Shimizu. Now, he had no trouble this morning. I have to say he curled 100% in, in that win against Denmark. So uh, clearly by the time they got to third stones, they had it figured out. And so we'll see Jaap van Dorp come down to throw the third stones. He actually calls the game. And Victor, or Wouter, pardon me, Wouter Huskins will hold the broom. He and Wouter and Carlo have been together for a long time as teammates. Hoekman is the relative newcomer to this team. Nice little flip underneath a little bit as we take a quick look at the rules of play here. Teams are required to play a minimum of six ends. Each team has 38 minutes of thinking time and one 60 second timeout. Tough shot here for Team Japan. In turn tap. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Hi. Yes, Go to get by. Not going to get there. <laughs> Breaking news, Shimitsu has missed a shot. First one of the day. <laughs> <laughs> has to happen at some point. <laughs> we'll give Netherlands an opportunity maybe to generate two points here. First end with the hammer. A little deep, maybe, from Van Dorp. Still not, not really a double there, but certainly hit and roll available for Japan. That's more the lefty will throw his out turn here. Japan's really good at these quiet weight hit and rolls. Enjoy the the softer shots. Thirty-one year old Yuta Matsumura. Not quite getting the roll. Make the roll buried now. If for uh, Netherlands, they could actually possibly score three here with last rock. Great opportunity. Nose wouldn't be bad, of course, but maybe better than rolling too far. 22-year-old Wouter Huskins throwing the last stone here. Not the last stone of this end, but throws the last stone for 
Okay, team boys. Netherlands. Yeah, yeah first met Dotter, he was 13 or 14 years old playing on this team. team. He was uh, playing team front team. end at the time. Fair Moved his way up. Still looks quite young. He does. Oh, no, 22 is young, isn't no he? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, clean. No shot. Yep, 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 yep. 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 Okay, Not quite. Yeah. I believe a double for Matsumura. Certainly okay. take it on. Yeah. Don't nah, see many other the options the here. Matsumura throws these with just a ton of rotation. Obviously, plenty of leg drive, but uh, we'll see how this runs straight down the sheet. Needs the double. Japan's last stone here in the first end, trying to make two Netherlands stones disappear. Must be close. Nice shot. Will the shooter stay to force? Nice. What a shot. Just. Thought there would be a, a blank available for Netherlands if that did roll. Well, there would have been had that rolled out. Heck so, of a shot. Yeah, really. Really nicely thrown. So Netherlands will be forced to draw for their single point here in the first end. If I remember correctly, Mike uh, Voucher became a bit of a star at the Lethbridge Men's Worlds a couple of years ago for consistently drawing to the button. He was just button after button all the time against points, had great touch. And they need eight foot here. They won't quite get it there, and it'll be a steal of one for Japan. You cursed him, Jill. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Walter. <laughs> Big steal to get things underway. And Japan leads 1 0 after one. Welcome back here to the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. In our feature game, Japan versus Netherlands. And Japan with a steal of one in the first end. And so Netherlands will hang on to the last stone advantage. So we see Japan's rock just slide to the back forefoot. And I suspect we'll see Netherlands put up a corner guard again as they did in the first.
Yeah, with both of these teams having played the earlier draw, they'll definitely take a little more ice for these corner guards than we've been seeing the first few days. Very nice. Japan also the tight center ah. now. With that stone behind the T line, it's interesting to see if Netherlands elects to freeze. Saw them go around their own corner in the first end. Just an update here for you over on Sheetsy. Italy versus Norway here in the first end. Italy looks like they've got a couple in there already. Norway coming off a, a tough loss to John Schuster in the U.S. Definitely looks like red line two in there. And the two in the forefoot are buried. Might have to run the red at the top of the eight foot in. Italy trying to, or pardon me, Norway trying to find a way to score here, maybe even score more than one. If, I don't know that that's possible, I but... I say, if that yellow at the back of the forefoot on the left is second shot, certainly very risky to play anything. Could you end up giving up a big end. So we'll see Torger Nergard put the broom down and Stefan Wallstad heading to the hack here to throw. In Norway, top of the standing starting the day, but they've got a, a tough road ahead. It's at Italy today. And they still have to play Scotland and Canada and RCF. So all the to all the teams all the that are with them at the top of the standings. Right, and Italy's been good all week as well. So just playing soft weight at this, I, I guess, just to try to move things for a single mic. Yeah, the danger, of course, is over curls, like we've seen a number of times. Could end up bumping the red straight back. This might be on the guard. Yeah, I, I, it's going to be one for sure for Italy, and they might take a look at this second shot stone. Giovanella taking a peek at it. Kicked it off, likely only one. Yes, so... One nothing for Italy after a steal in the first end. To bring you back to our game over on sheet A as the rocks are starting to pile up and actually going to another update over on sheet B next door, Scotland and the United States here in the first end. Scotland with the last stone advantage and it looks like a shot for two, Mike. Yes, John Schuster tried to roll off a wide stone to roll buried in that uh, that's his shooter that's just open had to roll another rock and would have uh, taken the end away from Scotland both teams coming in playing very well so that will be a score of two for Scotland in the first end they take a two nothing lead after one now we bring you back to our feature game and Japan red stones Sitting three. No guards in play though, so chance perhaps to make some sort of double here for the Netherlands. Gonna try to make the double here on the left side. Tough part about this one is if you do make the double, there'll be Japan will be able to play a double on the two yellows. You might be tempted to come off the uh, other wide one into the button area. And this one is really out there. Might only get rid of one. Does it hang on? It does hang on behind the guard. Keep an eye on that as the end goes on. But there is also a double opportunity here for Japan. As we take a look at Japan's coach, Bobby Ursel. Canadian 
living in Kelowna from my neck of the woods, born and raised in Winnipeg. Well, that's not exactly true. I curled with Bob in Montreal when I was 10 years old. Bob and I were teammates uh -huh. in junior house yeah. league. He, <laughs> he was Bob, born in Winnipeg. He though. was born in Winnipeg, <laughs> moved to Montreal with his dad, Jim, uh, another Canadian champion, uh, lived, in the, lived in Montreal in the uh, 70s. So Bob Ursel and I actually curled on the same junior house league team when wow. we were nine and 10 years old. So there's a small world story. Yeah. But uh, you're right, he was born in Winnipeg and of course won a Canadian and World Junior Championship curling out of Manitoba. Another Canadian, yeah. Sherry Liebrandt Demon. She's been uh, living in the Netherlands for quite a number of years and actually was uh, started the curling program there and uh, done a great job with this team. Yeah. And you see your assistant coach to the left there, Clancy Grandy, who is uh, from the Toronto area. Interestingly, her husband, yes, Pat Jansen, his team Canada's uh, alternate, or, or was at the Briar and still working with the team here at uh, this championship. So. I wonder if they're staying in the same room, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family affair here uh, in Calgary. On a big roll out, yeah, so a roll to be fourth yeah. shot. Yeah, it hangs around, but it's going to be very difficult to make those two yellows count now okay. with that red one sitting in front. No real double available for the Netherlands. We need need a, a, a clear miss from Japan in order to bring those into play. So Japan actually playing the run back here, Mike. Do you do you like this, or would you consider drawing? I might just draw it to the back four foot somewhere and make it difficult to to bring those yellows into play. But this is also fine. So when you have a, a third who. Uh, just was making everything earlier today. I suspect uh, Shimizu will be close on this. Big weight, run, double. Yes. Yes. This one's moving. Yes. Oh, and they'll just tick that too. That's actually worse than it was. Exactly, <laughs> tick that to the back of the eight foot and Looks like it's now second shot, that Yellowstone. At that speed, that's quite unlucky to do that. Yeah, I just feathered that back one, and now it's second stone after the Japanese shooter rolls into the forefoot. Still a tricky situation for the Netherlands. They can't really play any kind of double because of the angles on the red with the yellow behind. But can certainly hit and lie two here. Yep. They definitely need to stick here. Okay. And they will. That's more looking at the double again, I suppose. Doesn't want to roll over and uh, kill his red on the right hand side if he makes the double. It's probably worth a try, though. What he can't afford to do is have the yellow go back and dead jam and stay in the rings and then take his red out on the wings. He could end up leaving uh, Netherlands with a shot to lie three. So this is not without risk playing this double. Utah Matsumura here in the second end. Trying to make a double. And will not make the double. Does graze their own. And we're not maybe sure who's shot. Well, certainly two in the mix. Now, she knows it here, and I think Japan will be forced to hit back and give them the two. A couple of misses from Japan late here in end number two. Let's turn things around. Yeah. 
Yeah. First skip stone here for Netherlands. Nine, four. Trying to hit the stick. Yep. Easy. Art. 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 Got to stick around here. The working is to try to keep it in the rings. Okay, top. Okay. Let's face it. Good shot. Yeah. Might be a, an opportunity to for Japan here to hit and roll in front of that that yellow one, make it difficult for Netherlands to score two. Hookmans and Glasper Bergen working very hard. Japan just needs to be a little careful that they don't roll out. Nice to try for the double, but uh, there would be a, a difficult shot for three available for the Netherlands if they wanted to take it on, if they roll out a play here. So with that ice, they're going to throw some weight at this though, Joe. Looks that way. They, I, I suppose they want to be able to get a flatter roll. It looks like they'll just hit and stay right there. And Netherlands will have a hit here for two in the second end. Yeah, well earned. Take advantage of that miss from Shimitu. Each clean it alone, just go on team, we have each more ice as you see. Yeah. Okay, Dylan. Self the nose. Last stone here in the second end. Chance for two here for Netherlands. Trying to keep this straight. Gotta go. Will it stay? And it just stays. I think the weight saved him a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> and it'll be a score of two for Netherlands here in the second end of our feature game between Japan and Netherlands after two ends. Dus uh, derde end, eentje voor, zou ideaal zijn natuurlijk. Uh, ja. Willen we wel tijdkort nog? Of is het al gezien? Ja, ik heb geen tijdkort. Ja, dat ging niet erg. Ja, ja voor zijn er vier. Ja, dat is wel leuk. Dat is Maar wel gewoon uh, clean voor zijn. For real? Welcome back here to the Men's World Curling Championship in Calgary. Our feature game of Netherlands and Japan. Netherlands just scoring two in the second end. Take a 2-1 lead here in the third. Japan will have the last stone advantage. Shinya Abe going around the middle. I like this call. Oh. 
conserved a play. If they happen to play some freeze, they might be able to get a blank out of this and get the hammer into the even ends. Take you over to sheet D now for an update here between Canada and RCF. You see that Yellowstone was RCF's final stone. Brendan Botcher on his first had the chance himself to get into that position and through his draw through the rings. So uh, trying to make the angle raise for two does not make it. So missed opportunity there for Team Canada. They will get their one. And we'll lead one nothing after two ends of play. Yeah, un uncharacteristic miss from Brandon on his first one. Had a chance to really put some pressure on bringing maybe three into play and they end up only getting one. Perfect come around from Japan here to start. Third end. Well, Jill, you've played enough hey, of these events. Uh, you know, when the rocks do get touched up overnight, how much time do it really take for the sweepers and the team just to kind of make the adjustment? Yeah, I guess it, I guess it depends, but I think the biggest thing, I always thought the biggest thing was just trust what you were seeing and, you know, trust to, that you have to take that more ice and uh, maybe sweep a little more and and that type of thing. So the faster you can make that adjustment, the better. Believe what you see is the exactly. message. And we saw that this morning with Denmark. They, you know, continually missed over and over and over. They kept, you know, waiting for the ice to revert back to the way it was almost. So but, uh, it's a good message for well, any what, curler, right? Yeah, and what's the, the quote? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again with expecting different results. So, right. you know, you got to try something different, even if you take more ice and you end up under curling, then you yep. can yep. find the balance yep. in the middle ground. Yep. 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 Run back here for Netherlands. A great shot. That'll work. And, uh, that's the good news. Bad news is they've opened things up quite a bit and that uh, will free up Japan to maybe take yeah, and less left, risk. Here. And left a corner guard. Yep. Beautiful shot though. Japan decided, talking briefly, Mike, about the freeze, but I think deciding to just play the hit. They're probably okay with a blank here in three. Well, I think coming around the middle would indicate that that's a good plan B would be the blank. So, uh, yeah, why, why change gears now? <laughs> to get a roll out, you might see them go around the corner guard, though, simply you know, low risk. Uh, if the Netherlands roll their shooter out of play here. And they do. We'll see how committed they are to the blank. I suspect they'll go around. I mean, it's only second stones. Oh, they are committed to the blank. They're going open. A little bit of discussion about it. Oh, they went back to, I think they went, <laughs> they changed their mind again. I think they are going around the corner guard. Well, the same thing applies if they happen to roll out, if Japan happened to roll out late in the end, and then the Netherlands goes around the corner guard, then all of a sudden you're forced to score. He, he, uh, hoping for a miss, so take the initiative and go around. Yes, I like this. Me. Oh, we're taking over here now to next door, um, Sheet B and Scotland with a 2-0 lead over the United States. Last stone here in the second end, John Schuster. He doesn't have much. He's playing an angle raise. And uh, John jams the run double. Only scores one, or excuse me, gives up a steal of one. Three nothing, Scotland. Scotland all over the U.S. in that second end. I screwed up that end. Interesting, Jill. Uh, John Landsliner not playing that game. We'll investigate that a little as we go to cheat C. 
Yeah, an update here between Italy and Norway. Norway with the last stone here in the second end. Stefan Wallstad. Skip of Team Norway. Looks like maybe drawing to the button for two, potentially. Sweepers walking along the side, haven't touched it. That's never a good sign, Jill. Nope. And just rubs their own, but still manages to score a single, and that game is tied up at one after two ends. Always reminds me of uh, the late, great Neil Harrison, former lead for world champion Ed Wernick, and he always said, uh, I would have swept if I could have caught it. <laughs> Anytime the draw was heavy. So uh, never a good sign when the sweepers are walking beside it and their brooms aren't engaged, ready to go. <laughs> Now Japan peeling off this corner and full blank mode. Now what are we going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Three rocks to come for both teams. Netherlands, well, knowing they're going to peel, can throw a tight guard and maybe hope for a no set here. Definitely a game plan, though, here for <laughs> Japan in this third end. Trying to get the hammer going home. Right. Yeah. Net back. All right. Keep on, boys. Top. Sometimes these open ends are. As much as they're boring for the players, it's uh, an opportunity to get a feel for draw weight if they don't already have a feel. Or, you know, sometimes a player like a second would have thrown all hits so far this game. And you, s you speak as if that's, you know that position quite well, Jill. <laughs> oh, five ends of hits and then have to throw a draw in the sixth? No, wait sure. a minute, haven't thrown a hit yet. Or, excuse me, a draw yet. So it's, a, it's an opportunity for the players to move things around and check out some paths, check out the speed. I know once in a while with our team way back, way back in, you know, before you were born, Jill, we, uh, <laughs> we would, if we had an open hit, we would have a little, I would have a little contest with the sweepers once in a while. I'd throw the draw and the goal for them was have to put it on the tee line. And if they made it to the tea line, I would buy them a drink. And if they didn't, they would have to buy me one. So. <laughs> little incentive. Eh? Yeah, just a little in-game in competition. Makes it fun. Well, again, keeps you keeps you interested, right? You're trying to <laughs> trying to make sure you don't have. Uh, you know, when you're throwing a free. Well, if you're throwing a free draw and you come up short, all of a sudden the other opposition goes around and uh, you end up getting forced. Tomorrow, of course, looking for the blank here. So, won't necessarily mind rolling out on this one, but uh, definitely wants to roll out on the next one. Three, working hard on this. Another, another hit here for Walter. Yes. Would love to stay here, make uh, make Matsumura make something for the blank. Good enough. <laughs> and so Utah already down in the in the hack for this blank attempt. The third third end, last stone. Hey. 
Looks pretty good. And that will be a blank, so Netherlands still leading by one. After the third end, and Japan will have last one advantage in four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not that the eight or so, or the last, no, yeah, last, the the very hard court. Yeah, the ten sets. No. Welcome back here to the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship in Calgary, Canada. Our feature game between Japan and Netherlands. Netherlands leading by one here after three. And this time we'll see Netherlands go into the rings instead of a guard. I'm sure in the fourth end, Japan's going to want to score here, so they'll, they'll throw the corner. Especially with it sliding a little deep. So one sheet over on sheet B. Scotland, United States. Scotland with a 3 nothing lead here in the third end. And looks here like the USA might have a draw for two, Mike. They do. Uh, out turn to the forefoot. See Matt Hamilton there on the right-hand side. An alternate uh, Colin Huffman in the, in the game. And we did a little investigation and this is a scheduled draw off for John Landsteiner at lead and uh, no no need to panic any of you US curling fans land John Landsteiner is okay <laughs> just getting and older I guess Jill. yeah and the US scores there too and will still be down one heading to the fourth end yeah, back to back draws, uh, middle of the week, and especially in a long round robin, 13 games here this week. And they haven't curled all year. Right. <laughs> Come in, uh, welcome to the event. As you see, Carlos, good numbers for the week. 88 solid for a lead. And Shinya Bay as well. Good numbers at lead for Japan. Pan trying to come yes. around their corner yes. guard. Yes. Not sure they're going to yes. be able to yes. get it buried enough. Well, more than I thought, actually. But. Netherlands will still come around the middle. Yeah, we'll see yeah. some action here in the fourth end. Lawrence yeah, Hookman, 77% for the week. Yep, yep. Yep, hard line. 12, hard line. Yep. Yep. This looks yep. light, so it's yep. curling. Yep. They're going to try to line this up at the front so that they're not okay. hooking them. Yeah. Not overlapping. No. Yeah. Hooking them for Hookman. Yeah. 
<laughs> Knee slapper, Mike. There you go. There you, go. <laughs> you were on it. Double the guards off. Save the shooter. Very important here for Team Japan. Don't want to kill the opportunity to score two points here. Keep some rocks in play, but doesn't like those yellows so tight to the rings. Shinka, 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 Shinka. We make this curl. Oh, and clips the third one in the house. Very, very nice. And rolls for a bit of a corner. Very nice shot. So. These are short. High short. Silent short. High in the As you here for God, it's risky. Little drag theory there brings that top stone back to the right based on the contact they made out front. Another one's... Oh, 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 hit the corner oh, guard here. Up. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, don't you feel... Yeah. Take you to the other side of the building now over on Sheet D, Canada and RCF. Canada with one nothing lead here in the third end and Russia with a RCF with a chance for a single. Outturn tap here. Brendan Botcher is uh, struggling with draw weight here so far, Jill. That stone at the top 12 as it comes into the picture, the red stone. That was Botcher's last. He was trying to come into the forefoot and really put some pressure on and was unable to do so. That was actually a tap for it two. It was, yes, pardon me. Just missed, and, uh, but uh, RCF will tie things up. Sergei Glukov continuing his stellar play here this week. Just a very tough opponent for Brendan Botcher and Team Canada. Yes, 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 yes. This is diving to the guard here. Unforced error from uh, Japan will make things a little difficult to score more than one. Still a few rocks to come. I think if I was Netherlands, I'd try to roll into the forefoot area, not allow Japan to come around those two red corner guards. Yes. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Well swept. In turn, potential double, hit and roll, either or. Eighty-one percent this week for Tetsuro. Me, dead, not it in the back, and only roll a little bit, so still. Chance to sit here, sit two here and force for the Netherlands. Yeah, ideally roll to the other side of the center line would be would be perfect. So there'd be no double and roll for Japan. So with the nose hit, you can see the angle's nice now. If you, you did attempt the double, the shooter would almost naturally roll towards those red corner guards. The roll is the important part here, hey, Mike? Certainly.
Have to stick around. And they won't. Well, Shimizu just not quite as sharp here in the uh, first half of this, this one. So again, Netherlands trying to keep play away from those corner guards. Just want to make sure they get this draw to the left side of the sheet as we were looking at it a moment ago. Back four, back eight. Okay. Back eight. Hold on. Let him go, Tolle. And so the sweeper's calling it a little heavy, and they don't want to get too close to their own stone here at the back and leave a more simple double for Japan. Not bad. I yeah, think the double you likely roll out, yeah. which would uh, <laughs> give Netherlands a chance to go around those corner guards. I think the call is just to roll in front. Looking very much like a force here, though. Matsumura, 77% for the week, yes. making one of the great shots yes. of the week so far for yes. the other day. Yes. Yes. I don't even know what you yes. would call that, uh, that mic. Squeeze through triple, but if you're <laughs> anyone, anyone on social media, you can go to uh, World Curling Federation social media pages, either Twitter or Instagram, certainly, and see highlights of that shot. We'll take two sheets over uh, for an update on sheet C. Italy and Norway currently tied at one in the third end and last stone here for Joel Retornas of Italy. Looking like a draw for two. Okay, line buona, vicino Rama. Line, line. Okay, line okay, eh. line, però. 14.90. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Looks like it will be good. So it'll be a score two for Italy as they take a 3 1 lead yep. after three. Yep. Um, yep. Feature matchup. Matsumura rolled a little too far and uh, allows Netherlands to, to lie too. I don't see if you absolutely had to blank, you could probably try the double and roll out, but uh, not worth the risk this early in the game. Take your single and tie things up. Last stone here for Japan in the fourth end. Looking to score a single to tie this game up. Yes, yes. And this looks like it'll be good. That's a single for Japan. Tie game at two after four ends. Netherlands will have the hammer going into five.
Welcome back to the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship here at the Wind Sport Arena in Calgary. Feature matchup between Japan and Netherlands. And a tie game here after four. Netherlands was the last stone advantage here in the fifth end. Been a pretty straightforward game so far. <laughs> so we see Japan put up the center guard and Netherlands will decide to go around. Carlo Glasbergen, 30-year-old. Trying to get a bye for yep. sure. trying to finish it. <laughs> it made it sound like they needed to uh, keep it straight, but not bad. Well little, swept. Yeah, they maybe would have liked it a little deeper, but that's pretty pretty good. Definitely a little more conservative yes, yes, overall yes, vibe yes, here yes, from Team Japan in this draw. Seem content to keep it a little simpler. Thus far, anyway. to finish a little bit. It'll just get there. That'll work. That's more definitely would like to roll towards the center here. Close. Yep. Oh. Okay. Not bad. Force uh, Netherlands to change turns at least. Or play the run back. That's another option. Happy to play the half waiter, it looks like. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Even a touch of a roll. <laughs> that was hard to do. That was very hard to do. That rock was about an inch buried, it looked like, so just curling sideways at the end. With that roll, you either have to play the run back, I think, or come around. Run back is called. Want to make contact with this one in the rings? It really curled. We'll take you next door for an update on Sheep B Scotland with a one point lead and the last stone here in the fourth end. Yeah, USA's got one buried behind a corner guard. It's frozen, so not much available for Bruce Mowat. Hammy and Lammy going hard on this one. 
Really tight line, boys. Really good. It looks, it does not look heavy either, so they'll have to work it to get it. And they will. That'll be a single for Scotland as they take a 4-2 lead after four ends of play. And over to sheet D, RCF in Canada in a 1-1 tie. And it looks like a little tap here for Canada and Brendan Botcher for yes. its two points. Yeah, can't afford to move his own yes. red that's touching me, the button me. already. This is uh, me, me. not easy. It's as, uh, oh, 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 not to draw the buttons yeah. ever easy, but. Back in. Oh, oh. Tap it yeah. on the nose. Nose, no. nose. We need no. nose. Yeah. No. Nose. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Well, yes. Yes. Hard. <laughs> And Beauty. Great they job, will make right? it. Nice. Two points right. for Very Canada good. and a 3 1 lead there. Great. Good deuce, after four. Good shot. Yeah, two red. Good two red. Nice call. Back four. Yeah, D line back four. Yeah. yeah. With the roll too far on our feature sheet, Netherlands with the hammer here, they can split the rings and try to figure out a way to. Maintain two. Okay. A couple of half shots from Japan while well, miss on the run back and now rolling too far with the hit and roll attempt. Good depth on that one. Japan's going to try to roll towards the center. Shimizu needs to really hit and stay. He's uh, had a couple of half shots here in the first half of the game. Yes! 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 Nice shot. Looks better, yeah, nice. much better. Now the XP is perfect. The lift is also the. Yeah, right. Gone normal. Yeah. Van Dorp would like to roll the opposite direction, <laughs> away from his own stone in the back left as we're looking at it. I also need to stick around here, Mike, and this is hanging a little. And it will roll out. Yeah, it rolls out, yeah. Unforced error. Haven't seen too many going to the corners here yet. Wide. Interesting to see how much this moves. That ice looks uh, certainly a quiet weight tap. Swept. Very nice shot. So Netherlands will. Looks like they'll try to play a hit and roll here in front. Okay. All right. 
Yeah, he could really attempt the double, I suppose, but uh, maybe trying to create the blank another way. It's a very thin double. hit for Japan to hopefully to force Netherlands to a single here. And he knows that's a bit of a missed opportunity. Simple but important shots tend to make the difference in these games. Definitely wants to stay here, not allow a blank. Japan not been sharp here early. Looks pretty good. Well done. And Valter will choose to throw the draw for a single. So we watch him head down to get ready. Deze loopt gewoon goed. Als 4-2 moet genoeg zijn, toch? Ja, ik denk ik. Ja, 4-2. Dat kun je altijd hebben. Zal het zeker weten. Zeker te weten. Minimaal bij het 4. Yeah, the ice was a touch slower this morning, Jill, or with the, the with the more curls. I shouldn't say slower, but I'm sure it felt about the same as throwing, but we're getting 14.2, 14.1 on draws, where before the rocks were done was 14.8, 14.9. Yeah, so. it's maybe not sliding quite as much. We'll have to get a time on this one of vouchers. So 14-2, 14-3 ish is around the T line. They don't think it's heavy. We've got to get almost to the fourth foot here. Just miss swept it, and that'll be a big steal of two for Japan. Out of nowhere, really. That was, uh, you talked about unforced error allowing the blank. That is a huge unforced error by Team Netherlands. And steal a two for Japan, and they take the 4 2 lead going to the fifth end break. So just to give you a review of the first half of the game here, double for Japan here in the first end. Yeah, nice shot here from Matsumura. We'll uh, force Netherlands to score one. He'll end up drawing against that. Nice, uh, nice shot. And then in the second end, Netherlands here with an opportunity for Two. Three, two, three. Three, two, three. A simple hit. Yep. 
And so uh, Voucher struggling with draw weight in that first oh, hand, but uh, the hit was much better here. Just, just hangs on. It was a little scary moment there. Top out. Top yellow. Top. And Jill, the, uh, the struggles continued with draw weight here for Netherlands fourth rocks thrower. Simple draw against two, just as did the eight foot. Pretty sure I jinxed him with his draw weight today, talking about how great of a draw he was a couple of years ago at the men's worlds. And a little bit of a miss sweep here as well by the sweepers. And that's a big steal of two for Japan. And just to give you an update here between Italy and Norway playing the fourth end. Italy up two. Norway. Oh, is there a chance for two here for Norway, Mike? A soft little double? He doesn't have to move that second one too far. Yeah, maybe yeah. a quiet weight chance. Yeah. Can't throw much weight out of your shooter or roll out Hard. if you try the double. Yeah, and this one looks like it's Hard. moving pretty good. Hard, 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 Might hard, only be hard, a hard, nose hard, hit. Hard, 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 hard. And a single for Norway. That'll be 3-2. Italy still leads by one in the fifth end. And here's an update on all the scores here. Feature game, Japan, 4-2. Next door in the fifth end, Scotland 4-2 over the United States. We just showed you the update on Italy and Norway and Canada with a 3-1 lead against RCF. Take a look at the statistics here. So far in the game, pretty much an edge in all rows for Japan. And they've stolen a few points with a couple of misses by Last Rock thrower Wouter Huskins for the Netherlands. We can go a little less weight. And we're underway here in the sixth end. This Netherlands, Japan round robin game at the Men's World Championship, the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. And we see the lead for Netherlands, Carlo Glassbergen having a really, really good game here this afternoon. Yeah, 95%, that works <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, I finished well, or the line board prima. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Ah, it's okay. Yeah. You know, it's interesting with that draw that was missed in the fifth end. You know, the sweepers weren't on that right out of his hand either, so I'm no. not sure if they just got caught in a fresh spot. Maybe they have a rock that's a touch slow. It's two draws, two easy draws that have been missed by Voucher in this game. Shinya Abe having a game himself at 95 here. Oh. Japan trying to come right in here. They do have a bit of a lead, and with that first one behind the T line. Yeah, 
Netherlands put up two guards here, Mike, do you think? I would, you know, down two here playing sure. six. Close line now, yes. Yeah, yep. Hard line. Yep. 12, twice off. Why line not? Is line is okay. Trying to find a way to score more than one. Line is good. Line is good. Switch. Switch. Tijd af, top acht. Line is helemaal goed hoor. Yep, ga maar. Yep. Top vier nu. Okay. He decides to come around. Okay, Carlo. Nice, come around. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good call as well. It just uh, it's harder to generate multiple points with only one guard. Ooh, lower numbers here for Yasumasa Tanita compared to his tournament average. Hi, we are. Lines get. Yes. Wait, what? Stop. Okay, go ahead. Lay where you are. Just try. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, my. 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 A chance to have a couple in play yep. here with the hammer. Still difficult, yep. so early in the Move end, Jill. You know, yep. hard to expect yep. your opposition not to make a Come double well. at some point, but that's a pretty yep. good result. Go. Left a little biter. Okay. That's okay, Lau. Spread things out. Yeah. We'll see Japan take a run at this double peel, though. We'll have to be a little bit careful. Hitting that second yellow one, I think, Mike, okay? Eh? Just making sure it doesn't get yeah, punched yes. back a little bit. Yes. That's the idea. Hi. Close. Oh. That gets out, that's a fantastic shot. Really well done. Hits it right into the side. Well, I mean, ideally hits at a, a little thinner and keeps his red in the rings, but that's uh, pretty darn good. And a little thicker, he might push it back into the house. In. Yeah. 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 Update here between Scotland and the United States, and Scotland with a two-point lead here in the fifth end, U.S. with Hammer, and it looks like a draw for two. I think so. Another uh, outturn draw through uh, a sea of granite. <laughs> careful, 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 I feel like it's heavy. Matt Hamilton, Colin Huffman watching this yep, down. Go. Hard, hard, Matt. Gotta go, go, go in the barn. Navigating this. A couple of ports, and a little rub off, and they'll just roll in just enough, enough. <laughs> for a score two and a tie game next door on Cheap B between Scotland and the United States. That's a nice roll there from Japan, kind of grouping those stones together, trying to figure out a way to make a double at some point. Hard to roll far enough here to not leave anything available for Team Japan. These precise rolls, a little tougher today with the uh, ice conditions being a touch swingier. Yep, 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 yep,
Als je nu freeze kunnen we over de top. Hij gooit niet over de top. Gooit altijd in. There's a little bit of an angle there. The uh, stone behind the guard is deeper into the rings than the one on the right hand side. So Schmitz is going to have to throw some weight on this if he wants to roll flat enough to make contact with the one in the rings. Consistent numbers for Fitzero. Jumped. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Net te laat. Ik dacht in één keer top achter, dus toen dacht ik hoog. Oh, ja. Nee, hij was altijd langs. Ja. Sorry. Aan Kassotta niet in doen, ja, dit. Way up there and watch this make a right turn here. As soon as they say whoa. Yep. Almost looked like it picked. Hoist! Yeah. The brooms were down, just uh, made a sudden move. Matsumura, <laughs> just, uh, they look like they have fun up there, I have to say. Of course, winning this morning, being up 6-2 here, it's easy to have fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I used to say, it's, it's fun to win, it's fun to play good, it's fun to play 100%. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, winning is definitely more fun than losing, as they say. So, maybe just trying to sit right there, even roll a touch, maybe? Yeah, just get through and lay three, 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 I think, is important. Whoa. 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 Three. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Leaves a bit of a pocket here for Netherlands. Well, again, if they wanted to, they could actually hit the one that was just thrown and roll to the left. Hit the middle stone, roll to left, and squeeze that red up out of the 12 foot and, and lie second and third. And maybe even come buried a little. But, uh, I just don't see how you're going to make that back yellow count. You know, you're down, you're down four. And Dorf is going to come down and have a look. I think they need to hit the one in the middle and roll to the outside and squeeze that red up as opposed to hitting the center line one. Yeah. Peel TV. Ga je dan hier? Yeah. They're worried about hitting the two on the left in the middle and losing their back yellow. Of this. Yeah. That, that might drive the red back. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't looked at hitting the middle one yet. And rolling to the outside. What you will. Yeah, I think that's Yeah. It's good. Hard. Hard also, right? Is that what you see? I'm done. Yes. Yeah. Or I mean. Yes. Or freeze in the pocket. It's another option. That was what I saw first. Yeah. Down four. Hit the ball above. But yes, down four is different situation. So I think they decided on actually hitting this middle one, but rolling to the center line. Trying to roll corner frozen. The, the trick is going to be getting rid of that red that's behind the corner guard. That's that's the difficult one right now for Netherlands. Good shot, that's what they called. Yeah, not bad. Lekker, yeah, mooi bal. Ja, top. That's good. Nice. Japan just trying to nose this Whoa. mic, or is there space to make a... It looks like they're just hitting half, maybe get the slash double, double yeah. Like, ooh, very close. <laughs> Had to sweep it a little. I wasn't sure how much space was between the red and the yellow for them to play that. 
Just had to sweep it a bit. Yes! 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 Oh, yes, just really close on that back yellow. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, hit and roll here, I think, for. I think so. Some skip stones, though, they, you know, they, they waited too long to try to move that one that's buried. They had a great opportunity on Van Dorp's last. It's going to be really tough to make that back one count now. Zoals je hier gewoon back four bent bij je tweede shot, dat is best goed. Maar wat doe je dan? En dan pak je twee. Maar wat als hij split huis gooit? Ja. Dan pak je toch max twee. Hij freest me. Dan heb je het gewoon in dubbel. Ja, maar is voor twee. Als je nu komt, als je nu de hitte erop gooit, kan je nog drie pakken. Twee is op zich beter dan niks. Twee is ook. Twee is beter dan niks. Ja, dat snap ik. Ja, je moet een beetje geluk hebben. So waiting for. Thank you. Walter to decide okay, well, maybe what yeah. he prefers to throw. Also, maybe. corner freeze is only not slack. Corner freeze on road, that can also. Trying to come around board. here. They've played okay. this shot a couple of times this end. So, uh, Zelte ball? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 4-2, yeah. gewoon weer. Yeah. Yeah, 25 is okay. Okay. 4-2, 5. Little regroup here for the skipper. T line back four, back four. Hold on. Eight. Back eight, back four, back eight. Okay, close low. Yep. Back four is good. Back four. We'll Trying to come around. Back, back four, four, back eight Bar. is the. Back four. Wait, they're oh. looking for. They just need to get the line here. It's the perfect weight. That's okay, exactly what they called. Okay. Yeah. I think they wanted that over okay. a little bit yeah. with the curl a little more if they could have. Kind of had max weight the whole way down. Yes. Right? Not bad, though. <laughs> Forces Matt's Murray into a tough shot. So we saw the indication. It's either the freeze, if then if the line's good, just maybe move it a bit. You sure? Mostly a line shot here for Japan. Didn't look heavy out of his hand. Sweeper's yes, going hard yes. right away. Yes. Yes, yes! Really curling. Yes! Yes, yes! Yes, 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 Last stone here in the seventh end for Wouter Ruskins. And a hit Nine. for Nine. a possible two points. Nine. Yep. Yep. Nine. 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 Looks Nine. like it'll be good. Right on the nose for two. for two and yep. they are still down a couple of points to Japan here. Japan with a six four nice. lead after seven ends. Base boys. Good. Yeah. Het is gewoon goed om twee te pakken, ja. denk ik. Zeker. Dat is gewoon prima. We kunnen gewoon uh, naar elkaar weer terug weer in. Precies. Agressief. Agressief voor ons. Denk ik.
hartje wijd. Ja, is goed. Lijn is goed. Lijn is prima. Lijn is prima. Mixer. Drie. Nee, lengte, jongens. Lijn is goed. Hard boys. Welcome back here to Windsport Arena in Calgary for the BKT Tires OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. Our game here between Japan and the Netherlands. Netherlands with a score of two. Still down two. And so Japan will have last stone advantage in the eighth end. Yep, pretty good situation to be in. As I'm joined yes, by I'm Mike yes. Harris, if you're just tuning in. Yes! 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 And, yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes Japan yes, yes. up two with the last stone in the eighth end. I would take that any day. Two up with is a good situation. Nice. Jill Officer <laughs> in the booth here with us. <laughs> a couple of world championships and an Olympic gold medal and in your trophy case. So nice to be working with you here this week. Yeah. Yeah, and they, uh, you know, Japan, they said they played so well earlier today and not seemingly not quite as sharp, but they got a couple of uncharacteristic misses from the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, they're in complete control here. Not much to choose from at lead position. Good games by both leads. Line is okay. Hard to crop. Hard to crop. Ga maar. Eén. Oké. Over en af. Over en af. Over en af. Hij is helemaal. Hard to finish. Finish. Nee, 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 nee. Finish. Nee, 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 nee. Let's call the double center guard. That's uh, that's one way to do it. The tick shot uh, attempt by Japan, although they didn't tick. <laughs> the guard they did move it out behind the rings which is very uh, tough to do but save their shooter in the middle so in the free guard zone you are allowed to remove your own stone so that's a smart play by the netherlands to try to guard that japanese guard so they can't hit their own yes Yes! So I think Japan's trying to actually take their own here, Mike. They are. Whoa. Through it with such a weight where if they hit the yellow, that would be fine. And spins into the rings. Yeah. Right. Not too bad. Very tricky. A couple of options here. Original call was to get by and hit their own red, as you said, Jill, but uh, that's a good plan B. Just talking about where to throw another guard. Yeah, I heard uh, Van Dorp just say it's difficult to not leave a double peel. Because then we're in trouble. So throw it into the forefoot where they have some separation behind that center guard. Get it maybe eight or ten feet apart. Okay. <laughs> when you're down two without the hammer, it's always hard to find spots to hide. Update here for you between Scotland and the United States. Scotland with a 6-4 lead. The United States has last on advantage here and it looks like a open hit for two points to tie the game. As we watch 2018 Olympic gold medalist John Schuster. Clean. Here with his last stone. Go ahead, Colin. Well, no, clean, clean, clean. It's good, it's good, it's good. Go ahead, straight, 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 straight. You're good. And that Me. will be right on the nose for two points to tie up that Colin, game. That six, six a, after. I might have made the top seven. the back one. So scary. Good end, guys. Twelve. 
Okay. Trying to put up another guard. Yep. Yeah, go tight around that yep. uh, guard that's there already and probably force Japan into changing gears here and yep, 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 may yep, see yep, them yep, 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 play some sort of draw. Okay. Right. Say force. They, they'll still have the option to peel, obviously, but uh, would love to have had those two further apart. The battle at second being won at the moment by Tanida. Trying to make this double peel here, but over curls, they could have hit that quite a bit higher and rolled the shooter a little more. And now they take one over and leave a guard. Well, the good news is they made the double on the yellows. Bad news is they left <laughs> their own red out there. As you said, Jill, they had a pretty good chance to get rid of all the guards. But still not a high stress situation yet for Japan. Or a path to the forefoot is available on the intern side. Well, Matsumura is a lefty, so his out turn side. Right. <laughs> three, two, one. Hard to go. Three, three, line is good. Three, three. Alleen lengte. Okay, length is prima. Carlo, please. Hard to deep shells. Oh, ice. Right to twelve. Right to twelve. You have need. Right to 12. Oh, I could have Perfect. I Trying to get it behind that red one. Good battle at third. Mm. They both both have missed a couple of rocks here. Interesting option here for uh, Matsumura. You know, get the third stones and. It's looking like they're going to be forced to score. I'd be inclined to change gears and maybe try to get two. But uh, they're, they're content just to keep things a little simpler. But you know Netherlands is going around that tight yellow one eventually. Oh, they might punch this in. And they do, but it that could have gotten a little messier. <laughs> <laughs> they could have punched that frozen. As it is, uh, Netherlands is already lying yeah, one and throwing. This is so dichtbij that as they here gaan, that they waarschijnlich run maakt. Okay. I think they're going to throw it back. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, she's not going to throw another guard. Yeah. Oh, that's not this more ice. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, he's over, but hey. Okay, mag ik hebben? Carlo, 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 Still ah, the peel here for yeah. Japan. Yeah. Like I said one of one. I would do one of two things. I'd either go right around those two, or even tap that back yellow and lie two, put some pressure on. <laughs> Looks like the front three discussing whether or not that should be an option at this point. So now Netherlands will yeah. play to come around. You always want to be the first one to make that move. That's kind of, it's a bit of a guessing game. But you know, again, Matsumura is going to be running that uh, tight yellow. I'm sure on his first, if this is made nicely. Yeah, Top here. Top 
Twaalfacht. Eens. Jip. Jip. Ook klein. Jip. Twaalf. Hard boy. Twaalf. Jip. Drie. Hard. Helemaal door. Kom op. Hard nu. Hard. Ik heb drie tijd. Oké. Oh, oh, oh. Corner freeze hem hier. Hij is er bijna naast. Ja, hij is ervoor. Oh. Trying to play a bit of a plan B. Jip. Jip. Oké. Oké. Sorry. Well, maybe Japan will. They have. Well, I shouldn't say have to, they don't have to draw, but again, if you don't, you're definitely forced. You may as well try to get two at this mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Look at that draw number for Wouter, 50% on draws. That's been the, the difference in this game, actually. Yes. Move this back one, which I don't mind either. Lie to put some pressure on the Netherlands, but you know they're going around that staggered corner. I mean, there's <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what you do here, whether you hit and roll out or whether you flash it, they're going to still be playing around that corner guard. Yep. So, you know, you probably want to be the first one in there, it would be your best chance to get two. <laughs> First down here, Nate, then for you yes. to Matsumura. Yes! 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 Trying to remove this Netherlands stone. Yes. Yes. The back yes. of the rings. Yes. Yep. That's well done. Just didn't want to roll Barry to leave uh, a come around <laughs> with backing. So, big shot here for the Netherlands. They want to get back in this one. This has to be Barry. They cannot afford to give up a multiple end here in the eighth. Still not a great steal chance, but uh, really good opportunity to apply some pressure, certainly. Okay, top 4. Ja. Top 8 is ook goed trouwens. Ja. Gewoon ergens achter de guards priel. Yes. So we mentioned before this these draws okay. have been the struggle for Walter this game. Let's see if he can make a good one here. 12. Okay, come here. 12. Line come on good. Carlos! Yep. Okay, Carlos, you come. Yep. Yep, finish him, finish him, yep. Trying to make this finish yep. now, but they have to get yep. it buried. Yep. Go. Yep. Can they get it behind there? Nice. Looks like Boy, a ball. wonderful shot okay. there by Wouter. Finally making a really nice draw. It's a good lesson for all the young skips out there. <laughs> you know, saw Japan hit that back one. You know, imagine the red Japanese stone where that yellow one had stopped and they'd have a fantastic chance of scoring two. Just, you want to be the first one around the guard. That's the message. And uh, especially on ice, it curls a lot, Jill. You know, it's, it's, it's not a difficult shot to get it buried. So uh, some pressure now on Matsumura. Needs, needs to get to the forefoot. Final stone here for Japan in the eighth end, trying to score a single. I'm looking for around 14 seconds for the four foot area. We saw that 14 7, which came up top 12 for Netherlands a couple of ends ago. Needs a piece of the four foot here. This one looks like it's carrying a little bit better. That should be fine. Go, 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 that one slipped quite a ways, Mike, but it hangs on for a single point, and Japan takes a 7-4 lead here after the eighth end.
Lay where you are. Lay where you are. Lay where you are. Just to make it, make it go, make it. Welcome back to the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship here between Japan and the Netherlands in our feature game and Japan taking a single point and eight and a 7-4 lead. Ishii, light heart, light heart. Yeah, three up in uh, the ninth end. Certainly Japan would be happy to force Netherlands to score one or two. Line is prima, schoon voor lengte. Veeg voor lengte, line is prima. Okay. Next door here in a big matchup between Scotland and the US. Scotland's Bruce Mowat here with the last stone. In the eighth end, looks like a draw for a single. Yeah, nice freeze made by uh, John Schuster. Just over set up. The force here in eight. Hard, honey. Two teams that are really playing curling. very well. This needs to get to the Hard. forefoot. Hard, you've got this. Keep going, you're good. Keep going, you're good. And they get it there for the single and take a 7 6 lead after eight ends of play. So Netherlands here, Mike, try to get a multiple score and try to be thieves in 10. Yeah, you go all out here and try to uh, figure out a way to score two at least. You don't have to steal one in the last. I think that guard by Abe would be a bit of a mistake. They would have been trying to bring that into the rings three up. But uh, definitely going to have some stones in play here in nine. Nine's dead. Nine's dead. you can jump. Green, 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 green. Nine's dead. Nine's dead. Yes. Green. Beautiful come around there. Key here for uh, Netherlands when you're when you're down in the five rock rule. It's okay to play a hit on this fifth zone of the end, but you have to save your shooter. Really important to keep three guards in play. All the top teams now are so good at making doubles on the yep. front stones. Yep. 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 Go, 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 go. Good shot. Springs that red behind the corner guard, behind the T line. You can freeze on that. Nothing wrong with that. It worked out good. Yeah, it leaves the yellow. Good spot. Yeah. Now uh, Japan's going to start hitting. There's three up here. Thin. <laughs> Didn't do any other damage. <laughs> uh, by holding my breath there to see if it uh, was going to make the double in the guards or get their own in the rings, but uh, no harm, no foul. Yeah. yeah, just over the top of that <laughs> yellow one. So a freeze opportunity here for Netherlands. So far, so far. Good deal, guys. Line is good. Line is good. Kill the lead, Bill. Take a look. Back four. Back four. Back four. Yeah, come in. Carla, bring it by. No, no, no. Next, next, next. I bounced. No. 
just a little bit too heavy and it doesn't come up, bounces off. And Japan will try to make that one go away. Wouldn't mind staying open in the forefoot area here, not allow a freeze to be shot stone. Update here for you between Canada and RCF. Canada with a one point lead in the eighth end, but RCF has last stone advantage and looks like a soft tap for two points. It is that uh, red stone at the top of the 12 foot was Brendan Botcher's last. He was trying to protect his own stone in the four foot and really just didn't take enough curl. R RCF had Canada in a fair amount of trouble most of this end. And they had a late miss and uh, Botcher had a chance to put some pressure on and that is a big two for RCF in the eighth end. They'll go up 5-4 heading to nine. Giving Canada everything it can handle. Real burn burner over there. So back to our feature game in Japan, peeling the corner guard. Odd call to me. That yellow shot stone. Was, yeah, I agree. Was, I uh, wide open. Another nice come around from the Netherlands and okay. you know Japan just opening themselves up for some trouble here by by running that corner guard in that really wasn't impacting play at all. Don't quite understand that. And now three is definitely in the mix here for Japan as uh, Shimizu is going to make his way down. Maybe regretting <laughs> that last call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of trouble here. Good play, the yellow red run back, Mike. I guess, but if you ever jammed it, you're now giving up four, maybe. It's really you like hitting the open one? Not really. Not really either. <laughs> what do you like, Mike? I, well, I don't. I think you have to. I would play the freeze personally, but uh, yeah, you're kind of in it now, hey. So this, that, it's not this call that's the problem. It was the one previous. So just hit the wide one. Had they hit the wide one and then Netherlands makes this come around, you don't mind playing this run back against one. Now you're playing against two and uh, a danger of a big end, certainly. But uh, Schmitz has been really good all day. He needs one here. Oh, and a little speed wobble there as he powers out of the hack. And just hit this thin and peel the guard. So just try to put this somewhere. If you're Netherlands, try to put this somewhere where there's no double. So a freeze in the pocket would do it. You really can only remove one of the yellows easily. And three is still definitely in play. Yeah, Back four, back eight. Okay. Back four now. Oh, all the low. All the low. Back four, shaker. Back yeah, push mark. Back yeah. eight. Push. Back eight. Yeah, Need smooth. to curl into yeah. the pocket. Got to get this to move. Hard, hard, Don't leave a double. Go, 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 go. Okay. Got there. Yeah. Don't think that'll squeeze through. Ah, it's not net, okay. That was best good. Good call, though. I think he's got to hit that on the nose and try to stay. Hopefully, stay second shot in front of the yellow. Yeah, 
Just to get you updated on all the sheets here. See our feature game on sheet A. Sheet B, Scotland. Up one, playing the ninth. Sheet C, Italy with a big five in the fifth end and a 9-3 lead. And Canada and RCF, a one-point difference, playing nine. Definitely got some weight on this one. I don't, I don't, I can't see this uh, squeezing, squeezing through. through. They're gonna try. Sit right in front. Who shot? That is very important. Uh, Would you throw this to the other side of the sheet or throw it back four foot maybe? You know, no matter where this goes near that red one there's probably going to be a double yeah i would just try to stay away from there personally That'd be my choice problem is there's not a lot of <laughs> not a lot of, <laughs> not a lot of area to go yeah. but if you could ever throw it full back eight right between those two it'd be really hard to make a double right there yes <laughs> that's the shot that makes the double the most difficult. Call a timeout and uh, discuss options with coach Sherry Liebrandt. That's, that's just a nose hit double. You go there. Yeah. We're line two. Yeah. So the right one is on the T line and the left one is back four. What have you now? Voucher yeah, he's filling like his coach three. in eight. on the way down the sheet there. So I was maybe, what if you go back eight, but on the right side of the But you have to put a third stain somewhere else, where you can have chance on three. But we're line two, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think that this is not a gek call. Is. Yeah. Yeah. This is so that's why, volgens make you here it's just alleen maar makkelijker om deze twee te eliminaten. Yeah. 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 Plus you might give them just the double. Yeah. I don't know if we're going back here, but kind of the open. He's got a hit and roll. He's probably got the double. Yeah, but you must hope that he doesn't. Open the cross. Yeah. Should we split center or will you net up? He can also go back here, but then he's got the hit and roll across still. Yeah, precisely. I think that this is the center bench, and he has the hardest, hardest thing to do. Yeah, but we're going to in. Yeah. Mars is not safe split center. You gotta yeah. be full eight. Anything beyond yeah. back the T line. Bite the back force open. Yeah. Okay. You know, wide open for third shot is pretty good. You know, just, just deeper than the one on the Yellowstone on the right hand side as we were looking at it. So there's no double. Right. You know, you yeah. heard uh, Sherry say they're gonna hit their red and this roll into so the middle. But uh, you're gonna have right. something for Two or three, likely three, if you make a good one here. Yeah, that's so hard. Yeah, yeah that's... Okay, 315, 315. Back eight. Yeah. Back, yeah. back four is also good. Yeah. Yeah. Nog iets hebben, toch? Nee, denk ik. Back eight. Oké, back eight. Back eight, goed. Kult veel. Lijn is goed, kult veel. I gotta get this back there. Here. Not leave any go, 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 go. chance go of a double. Yep. 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 Go low, go. Lay low, lay low. Really well swept. Perfect. My ball. That was close. They almost overswept that. But it's perfect. It's yes. a great shot. Now they've got a, a fantastic go chance to score go three here. Yep, yep, go. yep. Go low, go. Lay low, lay low. Oh, easy. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Mooi, Baba. I got to go, go, go. Tried to miss it for you, Skipper. Sorry about that. So, uh, you know, Matsumura, the best he can do is hit the stones on the left, roll the shooter towards the center, but you can't get too aggressive on the roll because if you ever happen to miss the yellow <laughs> behind it, you could uh, give up four. 
So peel weight, hit it just off nose and roll as much as you can to the center line if you're Japan. This is where all your training with the, your sports psychologist will come into play, Jill. We said, you know, if we started before the game, we knew we'd have the hammer coming home, we'd be happy, right? But right. <laughs> in the meantime, <laughs> you went from full control to uh, being in a bit of a scary situation here. Similar shot to what he just threw, of similar weight as well. Last stone for Japan skip Yuta Matsumura here, trying to make a hit and roll. Not that way. Now they'll take a look and see whose second shot. Looks like it might be red, but it's it's an open hit for three. Either turn is fine. And our first final here yeah, between Norway and Italy. Yeah. Not a great mm. game for Norway this afternoon, and Italy will win that game. Yeah, to tough, to three. tough day at the office for Volstadt uh, yeah. and his team. And it's not going to get any easier on the way in. They still have to play RCF, Canada, and Scotland. Wow. Last stone here in the ninth end for Wouter Huskins. And a big chance for three to tie the game. They got to hold the line. There is a red one in the way. And he will hit that top one. And will it sit? That no. is a tragic outcome to a really well played end. And I think it's only going to be one, if you can imagine. Yeah, what a big missed opportunity oh, here. Yes! Just curling yes! too much, and oh, 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 oh. they woe a little too late to at least get two. Yeah, one of those shots you wish you could have back. Bob Ursel will be speaking with his skip after the game, I'm sure, about that decision in nine, yes. but uh, didn't cost him any points here. Welcome back here to our feature game at the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Championship. 
Japan and the Netherlands. Japan with a two-point lead and the last stone advantage coming home in the 10th and final end. And breathing a sigh of relief, I'm sure, after that hit for three was missed badly. And uh, Japan will likely escape with a win here. Bit of work to do yet, but uh, could have been far worse situation for Team Japan. Just putting up some guards here for Netherlands. And Japan with the hammer will just uh, play the tick shot here, I'm sure. Shinyabe been pretty good at this shot today. Very nice. Well done. Some discussion about exactly where to put this mic? Or you think I, I, I think there's just a concern about the tick being made, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, when you're down two without, you need to trigger, try to find a way to lie three. So four corner guards is actually a good way to do that as well. So just. You know, hard to not have the, the wind completely out of your sails after being in a good in good shape in that last end. And do you have to get this over the hog line though? Well, that's fairly important. <laughs> and it just makes it, and uh, we take a look at Scotland and the U.S. Here, Scotland currently up one in the ninth end, but it looks like a Soft tap, maybe for even three here, Mike. Yep. Yep. Tough shot. Yep. Hard. Definitely there, though, with the curl here Hard. today. Hard ever, go! Hard match, go! Try to get this by go! here. They got to get it by the guard. Keep going, and they just go! get it by. Curl it up enough. Yeah! boy. And they get three. What a scrub, that was boy. My and they man. are jacked up <laughs> after the big score to take a two-point lead over big Scotland. Scrub. USN doing an awesome job with the hammer. As we look at uh, Team Canada, Brendan Botcher looking at five here, Jill, in the ninth end. Yeah, just uh, needing to draw here Line's a bit to tight. the forefoot. Yeah, Line's, Line's good. tight. Sure. Line's good. Line's yep, good. Line's good. tight. Yep. Hard. Hard. Hard Sounding like maybe yep. it's curling yeah, a bit too go much. You gotta Doesn't go. look very right, heavy right, either right, here, right, Mike. Door, door, door. Hurry! And this door, will curl door, door, and be a little bit light. Steal of two for right, RCF, we'll and guys, they so take a 7-4 lead after nine over Canada. You just keep waiting for RCF to kind of fall by the wayside. No one really yeah. knew much about them coming in, but uh, they're for real, safe to say. And uh, things are not going to get any easier for Team Canada tonight. They uh, get Nicholas Adin in a couple of hours. So if they uh, aren't, uh, aren't able to pick up three coming home, it's gonna be a, a big challenge later today. And back in our feature matchup. One center guard and 
We're going to see Line some okay. peels now from Fire Team Japan. Six, four. Line Into the uh, sixth rock of the end now. Hold on. Back four. Yep. 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 Back four. Yep. 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 Oh, oh. Okay. That's okay. Good. That's okay. Good fake, Trying to get that buried, but doesn't matter. Japan will go up and peel the guard. Me. Me. So playing the come around now on the corner guard. Yeah, the best way to try to steal two at this level is to try to lie three and <laughs> have a chance on, on uh, the last. Maybe Japan would hit and roll out. So go around the corner guard. Japan hits the open. You go around the other corner guard. You got two in the rings and may have a chance on your last to sit three. Unfortunately, two of them will be in the 12 foot. Close. Uh, the importance of those tick shots being made nicely by Abe. Got the guards well off the center line. Back four. 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 And it just hangs on there at the back of the rings. So there might be a chance for to eliminate both of these here for Tetsuro. That's the uh, kind of the instinctive call. You just happen to hit and stay though. Yes. Yeah, that's fine too. There's no rush here. <laughs> right, like you hit and stay, then force Netherlands to make that shot. Across the top. Now they go around like two buried. So, <laughs> you know, you sometimes you have to I think a couple top shots top ahead. Top yeah, top yeah. Yeah. So with that miss, yeah. it's likely that Japan will have to throw their last stone if Netherlands can make a couple of shots here. Top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Full fear. Blijf erbij. Vol vier. Vol vier. Zo zo. Die lijn bijna. Oh. Blijf erbij. Vol vier. Bijt het die. Bijt het die. Je moet iets. Yep. Yep. Oké. Okay. Ja, dan zit je dubbel. Hi. Hey, close. Dat was eigenlijk waar je de eerste was, ja. maar. Ja. Best goed. Mooie lengte. Mooie niet. Dit is niet aan je door waar je dan. Vier één. Laat me niet gedaan. You can see a bit of that one, Jill. Means we'll try to throw some sort of board wader at it. Yeah, some discussion about the run back, I think. Now I'm going to get off. I'm going to make it all. Yeah, I'm going to make it all. 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 You can throw board weight and roll into the back four foot somewhere. It's pretty darn good, I would say. And trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. I'm going to play the run back. It's not wrong. Just make sure you don't <laughs> cross face roll for another guard. Yeah, and make sure you make contact in the, in the back. Whoa, 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 whoa! Shinka! Ooh. Misses everything in the house. And I said, here's that opportunity to lie three. So, you know, if, if nothing changes, it'll force Matsumura to hit and stay. Yeah, top. top four, edge four. I, I might guard, actually. I was, uh, yeah, on this one, I agree. Netherlands. Because you're going to give uh, Matsumar two chances at making the double if you, uh, if you don't guard. Throw a straight guard. you got to think Japan's going to peel. 
and yeah. then lie three in they your last. You take your chances. Huh? Yeah, that's fair. Go on top here. I go to the altitude. So uh, deciding actually to come come in on this one. Talking about maybe just top eight. Is that where I saw the tap? Sure. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, you, at the end of the day, they're going to throw a top eight, and Massimo is going to try this double, and that would. Uh, really be the game if it's made so as I said you're giving you're giving Japan two chances at a double which is ideal you still need to miss if you're Netherlands regardless of what happens easy 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 Thank you, try the double. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. They're worried maybe about. I'm not missing the double, I guess, and then. Netherlands puts a biter and sure, but if you throw the hit on the open one, they just hit in lie three. That's not good either. No. So just just try the double at least. I would say they're going to bring in Bob Ursel to have a word. I'd be shocked if Bob didn't tell him to play the double. If you can make the double on the first one, all you have to do is make one rock go away on your last. That's the benefit. Even if you miss the double and hit it on the nose, Joe. It's hard for Netherlands to lie three. Let's see what Bob has to say. Make the double. Make the double. <laughs> and, if it, and if you sit, if you sit here, right? If, I mean, you make the double, or or you can. If you miss it, you roll closer. Maybe you have a double next time, or a draw, or an open hit, right? But yeah, make the double. It didn't take long. <laughs> I'm surprised the word draw came out of the coach's mouth, though, I have to say. <laughs> Even though he said, if you don't make, you play a draw in your last. I, I just uh, think you hit the double, and if you don't make that one, then you hit that other one on the nose, and you win. So a double to put this game away. Yeah, Another yes. W on the board, yeah, if they can make it. Ball. Yes, ball. Looks like they did. Made it. Now, uh, all they got to do is make contact on their last shell. That uh, simplifies their life, doesn't it? <laughs> that was a good call. Yes. Yes. Should be breathing a bit of a ball. sigh of relief there. Yes, ball. Need to hit and stay here if you're Netherlands. Oh, and a big and mess by Wouter, and that will seal the deal for Japan as they take the win over Netherlands. Good luck. Game. Good escape there from uh, Matt the last couple of ends. Played very well for seven ends and then tried to let Netherlands back in, but uh, overall, good victory. Good day for Team Japan. Two wins. <laughs> Make that a 7-5 final.
tying in here, yep. and we're by. It goes there, we win. Okay. So. Where's Welcome the, back to our coverage here of the BKT I mean, Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. Think, We're going to join USA Scotland here have ice, in the 10th end with only I mean, two rocks hanging, remaining. High, so United States with a right? two-point yeah. lead, but Scotland has the last stone advantage and is sitting two right, behind yep. a bunch of yellow stones. Yeah, John Schuster on his first one was trying to angle raise on that yellow in the top of the forefoot on the left as you see it and tick the guard over, staggering the middle, leaving Scotland. They, Scotland's last was the red guard just right of the center line that we see out front. So Schuster doesn't have much choice here but to try to block the path of the button. I think he indicated maybe to go side button, but you'd hate to just roll off and leave Scotland an easy shot for three. Schuster, two up here. Hard line two. Line's tight. Hard! Hard! Hard left! Still got it! Take a look now. Take a look. Room, room, room! I think they're yep. going right yes. in here, Mike. Hard! Hard! By the sounds no. of the line call. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Good. We left him a shot. Yeah, and that's did just they? what you yeah, said. I'm not sure if okay, they good. did. Wide in turn. I'm not even sure how. How do you get there? To where? The out turn you're just is gone. And trying to get on the tee line. Spinner. I think uh, spinner, John right? Schuster's okay. I'm not sure. He must be going around that very high red one. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. So. I'm actually surprised there's uh, with the, the extra curl in the ice today that maybe they can't try to top that, but it is a little risky as well. And maybe Scotland happy to take Line's their two fine. here. They'd have to roll <laughs> <Line's good. laughs> into curl the top nine. of the forefoot. Oh, yes, Line. true. That one at the top Whoa. there. Straight, 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 straight. So got to get this nine. by the guard curl. first Goodbye. and then Curl, curl it as much as they can. Try to carve curl this in. in there and get it on the tee line. Curl in. Come curl on, in. what a shot. Just what curl. an attempt. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just not going to get there. Great effort, Bruce. Not quite, and that'll be two. two for Scotland, and it will go to an extra end. USA will have last Great. stone advantage. Great effort. Point the other one, you're going to get shot for two, yeah? We're hoping I miss you. Wouldn't have been, if we didn't have been in that extra if we left that, I don't think. Unless we managed to put it in the perfect spot. Like almost where he put it. What's that? Yeah. I think if we drew where he drew, we were looking really good. Okay. Yeah, I think if we put it in. Yeah, really fucked up with me. Yeah. It wasn't a me either. Same as against Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. That was a pressure, pressure shot to the left of Hammy. He had to draw to an inch and he fucking made it. Yeah. Yep, that's why I'm not throwing many picks. Last question. Welcome back here to the Windsport Arena Carl. in Calgary, We're Canada happy. for the okay. Men's World Curling Championships. Okay. And it's getting better. It's getting really good. We have an extra end battle Pretty here curl. between nice, nice. Scotland and nice USA. Nice. Just through that, also gone. have Probably don't baby it. an extra end happening over on Sheet D between...
Canada and RCF because of this shot here. Close. By Brendan Botcher. Playing the straight back double. And he makes a great shot to take that game to an extra end as well. Beauty. That a boy, Colin. We're going to follow along Colin with Jones Scotland and the United States. Tight. The U.S. has last known advantage here. So we already see uh, one tick. Very good for long. By lead Colin Huffman. He's actually time. the alternate for USA, but is Line's stepping in to play this game today and just Line's to give perfect. regular lead John Landsteiner a break. Carl, Carl so you're over the line. So another tick here for Colin. Yep. This is his only game, so 80% under both Close, yeah. columns. Hard! Come on, Easy! Come on, Hard! Come on, Matt. Yeah. Hard! Come on, Matt. Good, guys. Really good. Very nice. And another tick made. Nice bear, Colin. Spread oh. those apart. <laughs> now Fun Scotland looking for a, the best Long. place to put this so that when the USA goes to try to peel it, they perhaps run it into something on the corner and maybe spin one of the Scottish stones in. Scottish second Bobby Lammy. Having a pretty good yeah, game and tournament. Pretty tight. That's fine. Hi, Bob. A little tighter than they Perfect. wanted. Turn preference. Okay. You got to be thinner than half, but that's fine. Matt Hamilton, clean, clean, second clean. for clean. Clean. this yep. USA yep. team. Good. With his first in the extra. It's good, Maddie. Straight peel. <coughs> oh, Scotland will continue to throw the guards here. Should be same spot. Maybe a little closer to ice. Right. A little deeper than the last one, so the sweepers drop off. But it will stop. Yeah, I think normal. Maybe okay. So straight peel again for Matt. So now. Matt growing his hair out for charity. Please. Stash Please. Strong, raising money for brain Still cancer Maddie. awareness and research. He will eventually cut it off. Grant Hardy, Scottish third here. I believe trying to play this to roll two stones maybe to the middle and it just over curls. What's that? Probably, so you just want to throw it through? I kind of do. So I mean, we could, Let's could do this too. Let's just get a good too. look at a track, John, maybe. I don't, I mean, we just do this too. I don't, I don't want to take any risks. Because you hit anywhere thicker than half, you're over the top of this one, so. I just, can we, I, 
No, you're right. Okay. So a bit of, bit of discussion Find here. They don't really want to uh, put this rock so. in the rings uh, I mean, to give any control, I opportunity for Scotland to use it. And so they're just going to throw this through the rings so that there's nothing for Scotland to use. Talked about peeling the corner guard. I guess we got a high side of that one, but whatever. Chris Plies, the they're third for the U.S., didn't off. sound like he was too confident throwing that. Not really got much. Or yeah, felt that there was no need to, so... Nope. Through the rings they go. No. Not very often a third Trying gets to, to throw their <laughs> rock purposefully through the rings. I mean, this goes spinning in, but this one probably just stays. Oh, so it's doing nothing. Yeah. It's almost like a just center. Do you want to just guard. go around that? You play the long guard now. Just kind of half round, bite the edge of the eight. Okay. Yeah. And Bruce is going top of the eight. So deciding to come around, I think they were looking at whether or not they could do something with those yeah, top those okay. rocks on the side to maybe bring one or two of them into the into the middle. Well, it sure helps when you make the tick Line's shots. Good. Just takes all the Run. pressure off, doesn't it? Hard. Yeah, put it here then. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Not thinking about that slowly. No worries. Straight off. Good. Straight peel here for Chris Plies. You can see there in the background that Russia, Lead. Lead. RCF Whoa. skip there is throwing in the extra end happening between RCF and Canada. Sorry, Hindsight, I think we probably should have just high side and field that one over there. Oh, not right. much going on in either game, hate to. <laughs> Anyone cheering for uh, Team Canada? It's a good situation for Team RCF. There is, uh, you see the situation there, no guards in play. One Canadian song behind a corner guard and Darren Botcher about to throw us, excuse me, Darren Botcher. <laughs> Darren Molding, Brendan Botcher. It's Brendan Botcher's uh, last stone coming up. So hard to, hard to force RCF into anything difficult. Very similar to our you could get a quarter of the rock game yeah. on sheet B yeah. with yeah, I think dead Scotland and the U.S. It's just so difficult to steal at this level with the ability of the front ends to make the tick shot and big weight doubles, et cetera. Leave room for a couple. So in the Canada RCF game, I think we'll see Canada just try to put one on the center line. Top 12, maybe biting the eight foot and looking potentially to force RCF skip Sergei Glukov to I got 14 flat, you got 14 draw for the win. Interesting thing on uh, sheet D, Glukov isn't even at the far end of the sheet. He's kind of standing down behind the hack where Botcher's throwing. He's just ready to throw his last. Be interesting to see what, uh, what he does. There, there he is in the background. Very unusual to have Sweet. the skip in an extra end at a world championship, not even go down the far, far end. Can now he's, hit, now he's heading down. Yeah, there he comes up the left side of the sheet in the, in the, in the shot. And in the USA-Scotland game, Scotland buried one behind the corner, so it forces the U.S. to follow them down. Okay, that's okay. And uh, Botcher's draw comes up short, but uh, that redstone's buried. It's not going to change... Uh, RCF's life much with that, so I'll just pick a spot and throw the draw. He's been the clutch. Yeah, I thought I was a there, Darren. Nice shot there by for John Schuster's first. In this extra end. Bonus coverage here, Jill. Exciting. <laughs> Glukov in the hack. Yep. On sheet D, just needs the eight foot. 
Final stone here for Sergei Glukov in a extra end battle with Canada. And they just need almost the eight foot here for the win and it does not look heavy, Mike. This is really being swept to the RCF front end, really trying to pound this and gotta go. drag it. They really gotta go. Are they gonna get it there? They're so close. Yes. And they just, oh. literally oh. just, I can't believe they dragged it there. It looked so light. <laughs> and in our shot, uh, our sheet uh, let, let me B, Moet's Rock does not get shots on either, and USA wins. Good game. Another, that's a big day for Team USA as well, knocking off Norway and Scotland, two of the teams oh, yeah. they were chasing. Okay. And some exciting action to finish off our afternoon here at the Windsport Arena for these men's world championships. Big hugs all around for uh, Team USA. Colin Huffman comes in replacing John Landsiner and gets the win. So the uh, USA Lee will be well rested tomorrow. There's John. Lots of action on this draw here this afternoon. So our original feature game here and uh, highlights from the second half of the game. Big opportunity here for the Netherlands to score a few. Yeah, they tightened up the score. They were down four at this point, so got two to close the gap. Little, need that 6-4. And then here in the eighth end, and. Last stone for Yuta Matsumura. This was, uh, was this the end the, with the strategic mistake, Mike? Yeah, they could have gone around that double corner and tried to get two, but uh, they were two up at this point, wanted to make sure they score. They did get their one. Took a three point lead into end number nine. And this was really the game right here, Jill. You know, uh, Netherlands had a sh chance to hit for three to tie things up. And uh, to say this is not the result Netherlands is looking for is an understatement. Over curls, misses the shot they were hitting, trying to hit, and rolls out. Three turned into one, and two down coming home was too big of a hill to climb for Team Netherlands. Japan hangs on. So just to review all of our final scores, our feature game, Japan over Netherlands. Extra end final, US over Scotland. Italy with a score of five in the fifth end to get the 10-3 win over Norway. And Canada RCF also an extra end and RCF takes that one literally by a few inch, or not even inches, centimeters. So here's your updated standings. RCF in Sweden at the top at eight and two. Canada drops to three, Norway drops to three, Scotland drops to three, and United States stays at three. Switzerland at five and four, Italy at five and five, Japan four and six, and you see the rest with two wins. Well, Yuta, that was a very good day at the rink here today, two wins. What uh, was the difference today compared to the last few days coming in? 
あまあ石が曲がってアイスも分かるようになってきてと迷いが少なかったかなっていう。Oh, obviously we could lead ice better and uh, stone cars more. It, uh, we like it. Well, you're now uh, still alive for a playoff opportunity with uh, six losses. You need to win the rest of the, the games, but uh, tell us about the, the mindset going forward next uh, three matches. Yeah, we have to win game. At a time, so well, we focus one game one, and one game. What will uh, your primary strategy be uh, in your match tomorrow? You take on Korea. What's uh, what's uh, what's your game plan? First couple of ends. Uh, I think we stick uh, on our style. It's uh, uh, more drawing. Um, um, we, ha we have to be more precise, I think. Well, well, that was a good day of work. Congratulations and good luck the rest of the round robin. Thank you. <laughs> Yuta Matsumura with a little wave after the uh, interview. And uh, we uh, thank you for joining us here from the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship.